What's going on, everybody? It is your boy JT, and we are back to the Crypto Den, baby. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we have an exciting topic about crypto exchanges. All right, what are they? And, you know, how should I think about them? That's really my goal today to help you guys understand what a crypto exchange is and all the nuances and differences of them compared to a traditional brokerage account that you may use to invest in securities for your retirement or anything else. Um, before I get into that, for those who do not know, my name is Jake Tullis. I go by JT and I run a digital asset hedge fund out of Cincinnati, Ohio called Bleeding Edge Capital. We are exclusively in crypto. That's what digital assets are uh, colloquially. It's just crypto. And I leverage my 10 years of software development experience to underwrite this industry. And then I have this channel where I talk about the technology to help you become more educated on what this industry is, what this technology is, what this space is, to hopefully have you thinking about this stuff a lot different. Nothing here is financial advice. All right, let's get over to it. Cause it this is an important thing for you guys to understand. Okay. First, you have to understand that. Actually, you know what, before we, before we get there, you got to understand that the way a brokerage account works, we're going to call this um, Fidelity as an example, okay? Um, they're a third party. And then you have you. That's weird. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll make a person this. So there's you. And then you have the asset you want over here. So the way it works is Fidelity holds your money, right? They hold your money. And then you have to give your money to Fidelity. Fidelity places the trade, buys the thing. Then the thing stays with Fidelity. And you have to always trust Fidelity and pay Fidelity for holding this for you, right? And also pay for the product because they have their own fees. And you're basically just in the fidelity sphere. And that's how your brokerage account works. Now, in crypto, the way it works is you have yourself and you have the crypto you want. Now, instead of a company being in the center of it, right? We're going to call this Coinbase. Ironically, Coinbase is a company. Not all of these in this. There is a difference. This is a centralized exchange. This is the closest thing to a brokerage account. Okay. A, oh, sorry. A, a, a same example. You want ETH. It's actually Ether. You want the token Ether. Coinbase will go get this Ether and hold it here just like a brokerage account but the difference is if you don't want coinbase to hold your ether for no fees not first of all you don't pay anything for coinbase to hold it for you secondly you don't pay anything to buy the ether so you're saving money on the asset and the management of the asset and the custodianship of the asset you also have complete ownership of the asset. So if you don't want Ether on Coinbase and you want it in your wallet, we'll call that MetaMask. And this is your wallet, right? You, for no fee, can just move your Ether into your wallet and it's yours. That's the biggest difference between a centralized exchange. It gets a little crazier with a decentralized exchange, okay? A decentralized exchange is you have you and you have your wallet. These are all one thing now, okay? And then instead of Coinbase, you have um, SushiSwap. And then it has access to liquidity pools of a crazy amount of tokens, guys. I mean, you know, um, thousands, if not millions of crypto. There's a lot, okay? 
And all of these tokens, they get on the exchange list. And you basically just put an order in to SushiSwap, which is not a company, by the way. It's just a bucket of code. It's just software. You say, I want $100 of Solana, let's say. And then it goes to all of these different pools of tokens, okay? So, they're just all over the world, okay? And it'll go find the best price for your order and then get it. Once you get the Solana from whichever liquidity pool is out there, wherever, wherever the tokens are, it just grabs it. And then it puts it in your wallet. And you custody everything without needing to trust a soul. No human looked at this order. It's super, super helpful. Okay. Now, that's the principal difference between a brokerage account, a centralized exchange, and a decentralized exchange. I actually covered that well. I mean, you can get tons of content out there about that. Now, these are also my things. You know, I don't officially recommend stuff, but generally speaking, I do think this is a very accurate um, accurate representation of all the different centralized exchanges out there. And Coinbase is at the top because it's a public company. It's in the United States. They also are the chief custodian of all the institutions. So when BlackRock wants or launched their Biddle Fund, if you follow me, you'll know what I'm talking about. They basically bought a bunch of treasuries, put it up in a wallet, and then issued a stable coin that they distribute the yield from the T-bills to. And that means if you put a 10 grand into the Biddle Fund, you'll always have $10,000, but you'll also be getting deposited whatever your interest rate is on the bonds um, in stable coins. They'll just send you USDC directly to you. And all of that, if you didn't understand it, the, the point I'm making is BlackRock, the largest asset manager in the world, decides to keep all of the tokens, all of that activity, you know, your Ether your stable coins, everything that works inside of that bucket that is the Biddle token is all on Coinbase. So like the biggest boys in the world use Coinbase and it's a public company and it's in America. You know, I, I do think it's one of the best centralized exchanges out there. Brian Armstrong is an OG. He's the founder. He's been in this space 10 years. It's been open since 2014. Uh, a good second runner. I don't even think it's on that list is Bitstamp. Um, you know, I've been a long time user of Bitstamp. They've been around, I think, 11 years. They're out of Europe. And they just got bought by Robinhood, which is another public U.S. company. And then probably Kraken after that. Um, they've been around just as long. They have this probably the safest thing out there uh, as well. They're all very safe, but, you know... All around, it's just like picking uh, between Franklin Templeton, Schwab, Fidelity. It's the same thing. The really important thing to understand, though, is they don't take fees and they own your stuff. You don't own anything. But in crypto, you own it. It's yours. It's real property, if you remember the tax video. So it is yours. And no one's going to charge you for holding it. And um, there's costs, there, I guess there's pros and cons to that, but overall, crypto is about sovereignty and self-custody and taking your financial life into your own hands. And this technology is the first time we ever really could. We don't need trusted third parties anymore. And that is what a crypto exchange is. Thank you all for showing up and listening and learning. I wish you the best of luck in your ventures. And until next time, take care of one another. I'll see you.